Hey guys, uh, what's going on? So, this is going to be the first ever super vlog. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wouldn't this also be the last super vlog since, you know, I'm not playing anymore? And that's a good point. And my rebuttal would be shut up. So, today, what time is it? It's 10 a.m. Wow, very early, I know. So, 10 a.m. We have to leave in 30 minutes. I've got all my stuff packed, but look what I don't have packed. Yeah, we gotta get it set up. So you may be wondering, how does a world-class, legendary Rainbow Six Siege player get ready to leave to travel across the world for almost a week? First he gets his Louis Vuitton duffel. Baller. Then he gets his little mouse case for his mouse because baller. Then he has his mouse pad. Okay, mouse pad, keyboard, earbuds. Wait, wait. My amp. Shit, hold on. Okay, amplifier, earbuds, mouse, keyboard, mouse pad. No. no. Okay. Extra mouse pad because I always spill shit on it. Memory cards for the camera, hat collection, iPad, batteries for the camera, batteries for travel, earbuds, headphone. Okay, I think we're ready. Oh, I have to pack it. All right, we're back. If you can't tell, I'm on the plane. Oh yeah. Now, I did upgrade this, so this is not a regular seat. A little remote action. You know, personal air vent. The seats recline. The TV folds out. So we're pretty baller around here. Hello. We've landed in Germany. And no, this isn't an emergency landing. This is just how you get off the airplane here. What? That's the airplane behind me. We're just deploying in the middle of the parking lot. All right, so we time traveled a bit. I'm actually in Berlin in my hotel right now. This is a exclusive hotel room tour. You've never seen a Marriott hotel room like this in your lives. Look at this. It's like a day bed. What? A little circled table to have big meetings on. Oh, look at this, look at this. Inception, are you ready? Inception in three, two. Inception. There's a bed. I got a solo bed. So I did luck out a little bit. Um, most people are double bedding. But because Lauren is on our team, uh, she gets her own room, so I get my own room because I'm the captain and I do what I want. Ha 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 Perks of being super. Okay. So then we have, I don't know, just mirrors everywhere so I can look at how handsome I am. There's a bathroom so I can dookie. Where's the light? Wait, I just realized. Wait, wait a minute. What is this? What does this turn on? Nothing's happening. Wait. Oh, I see. Okay, now there's light. So there's a shower and like, yeah, man, I mean, you've never seen a hotel room before. It's just like every other one, but like everybody has to vlog the hotel room. So like, dude, I'm in a hotel room in Germany. Hi! What's going on? It's professional vlogger super here. Day two of the Berlin major. As you see, I'm outside in Germany. You heard that right, outside. And Lauren and I are going to find the Berlin mall while the rest of our team ride around on scooters, likely breaking their wrists, forcing Lauren to eventually play this week. We'll get back to you and see what we buy. All right, so we're at the Mall of Berlin. I don't know what kind of weird shit they're going on, but there's like a million umbrellas here. 
I'm pretty disappointed because the Nike store and Adidas, I thought I could get some like cool soccer jerseys. There's jack shit. Pretty cool view though. All right guys, a little bit of an update. I mean, not an update, but I feel like it'd be weird if I just go until tomorrow. So I didn't end up buying anything at the mall. I was pretty disappointed. Las Vegas shopping is way better. However, what I did buy is probably the most essential thing that any gamer will ever need. And that, my friends, that's like 20 Red Bulls, yeah. I went to a grocery store and I bought 20 Red Bulls. They looked at me like I was fucking insane. And you know what I say? I've got so much money I could just buy 20 Red Bulls. I'm fucking baller. And then the lady, she, she literally started weeping. And she said, it was an honor to meet you, Super. I said, how do you know my name? And she said, everybody knows you. You're a legend. I said, you're right. But what does that have to do with anything? And we agreed that it has nothing to do with anything. How did we get here from all that Red Bull? So, yeah. So tomorrow, we actually get to go in the practice arena. So I'll be able to, like, show some cool stuff. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Because this is a vlog. So, like, you're going to see it anyway. But I'm telling you that because you're about to see it tomorrow, which is the next day. Professional vlogger super here, day three I am at. As you can see, our practice room. I gotta be honest, it's not as good as the former practice rooms. Face it, ESL definitely did it better. We got a lot of desk space. Do you know what the Wi-Fi password is? I don't know what the Wi-Fi password is. This is where I'm sitting. The coach, Lauren, doesn't even have a PC. Like I said, face it, definitely doing it better. I've got a couple of codes here. Who gives a shit? I've got this thing. Who gives a shit? Congratulations on making it to the group stage. We're incredibly glad to have you back to the major, especially since this is your captain's last hurrah. Honestly, they give me a hat. If this is all I'm getting in the goodie bag, we're gonna have words. Usually you get a backpack, you get a hat, you get jerseys, you get hoodies. I got a fucking piece of paper and a hat. Okay, I'm back. One quick complaint. It is hot as fuck in here. This is the only air conditioning we have. Maybe that's like a spoiled American thing, but it's 2022. We need like, uh, where's the air conditioning? Come on, we're in a room of all computers. This is what we got. Give me fucking, oh, and we don't have a coach PC. Hard at work or hardly working, you tell me. Okay, so uh, tomorrow obviously we play phase first, and then we play G2 right after. I think it starts at 7 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. So that means try not to wake up too early tomorrow. 7 p.m. I think is our first game. Seven and eight, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, obviously, we want to like watch the other teams play, and that's fine. But if you're going to be in here watching the other teams play, just make sure that you're not like going to be tired by the time our fucking actual matches roll around. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, for phase, uh, we know they play a lot of the maps that we don't like to play. So, looking at what they've been doing so far at this stage. They, they're not going to play border. They don't play border, so they'll ban that. Um, they are willing to play Chalet, but the majority of their games, they've banned it, so I think they take Chalet out. Um, and then they're kind of a mixed bag of bans. On Villa, they've banned that a bit. Obviously, if we can force them to ban Villa, that would be good for us, because we're not going to play them on Villa, I think. Yeah. Um, we're... So right now, we for sure are banning Cafe, we're for sure banning Sky, we're for sure banning Villa if we have to, and then personally I'd like to ban Bank. Um, I, I know that like we're good at Bank, but that's just like been their best map forever, so it doesn't make sense for us to let a team play their best map. Um, so that leaves, and this is where my question comes to you guys, if we'd be willing to take the risk. Nobody knows that we're able to play theme park at all. They don't ban it that much. Um, they beat Liquid on theme park. Um, 
and Brazil. Yeah, it was like a 7.5 or an 8.6. Um, but they, in that game, they were struggling on attack. They just won every defense, and Liquid is pretty bad on um, attack. So I guess the question would be, if it came down to it, do we, would you rather us ban theme and risk playing bank or ban bank and leaving the, op the window open for theme? I would leave the window open for theme. Against them in particular, I think banning bank is better. Now that doesn't mean like 100% we're gonna play theme because they beat us on Oregon before, they might be willing to play that. Clubhouse, they don't ban a lot. They might be willing to play that. The only time we played at the stage we lost. I, I think we're fine on club, we're a good clubhouse team, so that'd be okay with me. But I think most likely, if we can work the bands we want, it's gonna be Oregon theme or club against them. Uh, which I think are all maps that we have a good chance on. Obviously, uh, I think on all those, we'd probably wanna start defense, maybe not club. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I think for them, like I said, most likely theme, club, or uh, Oregon. I'm not sure. When they see that we're willing to play theme, I feel like there's a chance they maybe say, we don't want that. Like, they don't want to take the risk there. But uh, we'll see. And then for G2. I think the banning thing is pretty good. Theme, that I'm pretty confident our theme. Like, we haven't played it, so like, they don't know what to expect from us. I think our theme's good. I mean, it's not hard to play games pretty fun. I kind of wish we would have show it so early. So yeah, that's what I was saying. That's yeah. what I was saying. Well, like, if we show our hand early, well, we show it now. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, if we show it and we actually like win or something for the yeah. rest of the tournament, nobody will play. I mean, it's yeah. a high risk kind of work on things. Like if we say our international teams are shit, then yeah. it hurts us too. So it's well, like, if we if we lose on it, it's bad. But if we win on team, it's good. It's, it's a good. major. There's nothing like. I don't know, I'm all for team risks. Yeah, I'll tell you, I think show it all out, and it would make playoffs, and make playoffs, and play team again, that's fun, you know. I don't think we... Okay, and then, uh, so for then our game against um, G2. Uh, so they're another team that doesn't play border. They haven't played border all year. Um, they don't, interesting, they don't play cafe at all. Um, so we can play chicken with them on cafe and try to force them into banning it potentially. I'm not sure, I mean, they're gonna know that we don't play it as well, so that might literally just come down to who wins the coin toss there. Obviously what we know is with G2, they prefer to play bank, they prefer to play chalet, they prefer to play Oregon, they do play sky, um, and I think they play theme, so they haven't played theme in EU, but every of, of their nine games, EU banned it seven times against them. So I feel like they probably do play it. They definitely play Villa. So right now I'm thinking 100% we're banning Sky, 100% we're banning Villa. Um, and then to be honest, I'm kind of open with the other two maps. Uh, I just don't want to give them something they're comfortable on. Bank, I think, is a map they really like. Uh, and honestly, Chalet is so in my mind. What I'm thinking is they know that we won't ban Chalet, right? I think that they are probably prepping to play us on Chalet. So if I could ban Chalet and force them to play us on like Clubhouse or Oregon, I feel like that would be good for us. Because I think in their mind, they're 100% prepping. Because if you look at if they have the shit that we do, which I assume they do, they're G2, they'll see that we never ban Bank or Chalet. So I think they're prepping those two maps to play against us. So if I eliminate one or two of those, they don't ban Clubhouse that often. It's gonna force them to play us on Club or Oregon. And they don't have that strong of a record on either of those maps. Yeah, if we, we just post on Twitter, the, they didn't show the map they were screwing, but just based on the ban, it's Chalet or Bank, like, seems like maps. Uh, yeah, and they have a horrible rating like overall on club, so I'd really like to try to take these guys to club if we can. 100% um, we have to ban Sky and Villa against them. Um, Villa, or sorry, Theme, I think that kind of depends on what happens with FaZe. I probably want to ban Theme against them, but like, say we play FaZe and like smoke them on it or something on Theme. I would maybe play chicken with G2 there. 
Um, but against G2, it is going to be... Uh, against G2, I, I do think it's going to be one of our comfort maps. It's just going to be probably that's a map of strength for both of us. It's just what we're willing to play. Um, so I think it's going to be Bank, Chalet, Club Oregon against them. And then whatever, we're just going to have to feel out how the bands go to see what we want to eliminate. Like I said, in my mind, I think we want to maybe take out Bank. If we remember, we scrimmed them on Bank when they came to NA. Obviously, that was a while ago, but they did beat us on Bank when we scrimmed them there. Yeah, so obviously, I think we're playing better now than then. Um, and we've changed a lot of stuff, but yeah. I think Bank Chalet are definitely their comfort maps. The default map. And if we force them on Oregon Club, uh, I think they definitely have a more of a difficult time. If you remember, we scrimmed them on Club or on Oregon, and it was like seven two or something. Uh, so yeah, so I just think that's what I'm thinking.